What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Divin, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So, AT&T cuts its dividend. People are freaking out. Telecommunication sectors, like, people are going crazy. You know, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I got a better alternative. I just added this to my M1 Finance uh, dividend portfolio. So now I have four telecommunication stock, my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. I like this stock. I did a, I looked at it, did a dividend stock analysis. I looked at it, its company. It has a really good history. There's some really good surprises about this stock. And it's a rival of one of the stocks that I mentioned in the telecommunications uh, industry that is a uh, Canadian stock. So we're going to check this out right now. That stock would be TELUS Corporation. It's a communications, uh, telecommunications sector uh, stock. It's a Canadian stock. It actually distributes a pretty nice dividend. It's actually cheaper than Shaw Communications right now, which I really like. It has a very good dividend history. It's a very powerful um, dividend stock. And uh, there's a lot of opportunities with this company. So in the past five years, it has slowly gone up, not like too crazy. So it is affordable for dividend investors. And since it's going up, okay, let's look in the past year, still it's kept in line with the S&P. So that's pretty attractive. Uh, the past five days, uh, six months, it's actually beaten the S&P. So there are really good things. And they're a big rival to BCE. I just did uh, a stock in stock analysis and dividend stock analysis on BCE. Went over the company. Let me tell you what TELUS Corporation is about because this is a really good one. And don't worry, I'm going to go over a wild card stock at the end for a really good dividend stock to buy right now. So make sure you stay put. And don't forget to smash that like button. I know I said that before, but make sure you smash that like button. The more likes, the more comments that you get on the channel, um, in the comment section, the more videos I'll post for you guys. So let's check out this corporation real quick. So this is what's crazy about these guys. I have no idea who these guys are. Um, they have mobility services, 5G network, reaching 99% of Canadians. Okay, that's really huge. Okay, they're a dynamic world leading communications and infor information technology company with 16 billion annual revenue, 16 billion, 15.2 million customer connections spanning wireless, data, IP, voice, television, entertainment, video, security, healthcare, and agriculture. That's well diversified, very strong, and it's only 20 in the 20s, which is really good. So, look at this healthcare technology. Okay, this is important for healthcare professionals. This type of stuff now is they do virtual visits. So, you know, a lot of people don't want to go see their physicians. So they do virtual visits. So I think that's huge. Agricultural, uh, cutting edge agribusiness and management platforms, TV. Oh, that's great. They have small business solutions. They have phone plans, internet security monitoring, and more, which is really good. IP networks, hosting, manage IT security and cloud-based services. So you're looking at the technology there uh, basically adapting to the demands and new technology. High-speed internet across a growing fiber optic network. Protection for personal devices, online privacy and identity. So they're well diversified. They're right around uh, in the 20s. Okay, let's just say 20 to $25. Slowly gone up. Okay, but they have a very good dividend history. But I want to address one thing that I really like about these guys is they are a competitor with BCE. A lot of people do believe, I read numerous articles, they think that this stock is better than BCE. And BCE is like one of the juggernauts out there. So you got these two guys neck and neck competing with each other of who is one of the best telecommunications uh, industry. Lumen Technologies is a good stock, but these guys are increasing their dividend history. So I do have Lumen Technologies on my uh, dividend portfolio, but I like these guys because they increase their dividends. So. That's one thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you its dividend history and some things that you're going to be surprised about with these guys because they're just growing and they're getting more powerful as a company. So let's check out their dividend history. Okay, they have a 3.09% dividend yield. They went from 40 cents, 32, 36, 40. You'll see why that, that all of a sudden this dropped. 
uh, 41, 22. So it's slowly going up again with a 3% dividend yield, a PE ratio of $32.07, annual dividend 67 cents. Well, here's the thing. Okay, they're a little bit more expensive than Lumen Technologies. Okay, Lumen does like 25 cents. They're increasing their dividends. Okay, look at this. All of a sudden it went down and all of a sudden it's up. So what is going on in these past few years? Let's check this out. Oh, so in 2013, a two for one stock split. 2020, a two for one stock split. So you got a stock split history with a company that's growing, okay? I, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I have a disclaimer in my comment section, but this is something that's really nice. These guys have split their stock numerous times. They're cheap, could be an opportunity in the future. Don't, don't quote me on that. But again, you know, I'm not part of the board of directors or anything. You know, I, I, I don't make the call, but they have a history of splitting their stocks. So I like the trends that are going on. It seems like every seven years they split their stock. So it is going up. It's actually a good stock for day trading if you want to hold on to it for a few years and sell. Um, if I was a day trader, I would probably do that. I don't day trade a lot. So, you know, I'm, obviously I'm buying the dip with crypto. The other thing is um, I am also... Um, I like this as a, as a traditional or Roth IRA because it's gonna increase its price per share. It's increasing its dividend history. It's actually a very attractive stock right now. So I'm gonna be adding this to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. And this is what I like about it, stock split history, it's revenue, um, it's a competitor to BCE. Let me show you the wildcard stock that I have. Um, this is also a uh, telecommunications stock. Uh, but I still, I still am on the stock. I sold it and then bought it. Uh, take a guess which one that'll be. I just went over this yesterday. Lumen Technologies. It's fourteen dollars and thirty cents. Very strong dividend yield. Um, as a company, it's doing very well. It's a member of the S and P and Fortune five hundred. Um, I could see, you know, in the future, these guys just increasing their dividends if things go all right. Right now it's 25 cents. It's been very consistent with uh, 25 cents. Uh, last time I checked, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so they have a, a lot of network services, security, cloud uh, solutions, voice and managed services. So it's not like that they're going anywhere. They're still gonna be up there. They're still gonna be strong. The dip is there. Okay, so that's very attractive with Lumen Technologies. So this is something that uh, you know, it's very attractive. It's, uh, it generates a decent amount of uh, revenue and it's a well-known company. So that's one thing I wanna let you um, know. And I'll show you its dividend history just, just to confirm a few things. Okay, so it's been for the past uh, few times, it's been 25 cents. They just announced that they're doing 25 again, but be wary, um, they could cut it, okay? 6.93%, that's kind of high. And look what happened to AT&T. So, you know, just be careful with this one. I wouldn't, you know, this is not a day trading stock. This is not a stock that I would put in a traditional Roth IRA. I would do it just for the Benjamins or the dividends. I just want you to be careful with this one. Get, you know, take advantage of the dividends. I'm taking advantage of the dividends if you buy it. But be very careful with this one. Uh, I still think it's a good stock. I think it's uh, there's a lot of potential. But again, just be careful. I'll show you what I'm going to do on M1 Finance real quick. And I'll tell you what I'm doing with my strategy with these two stocks. Okay, so right now, I just put Verizon a little bit down at 10%. That'll, that'll, I'll flip it in a second. But, you know, I have 28 shares, 28.21 shares. AT&T, I'm going to start buying again. I have it at 25. BCE, 25. TELUS, 25. And Lumen Technologies, 15. The reason why I have Lumen Technologies at 15 is, you know, it's not going to really jump up. It might jump down a little, a little bit. But, you know, AT&T sounds like until 2022, they're going to be cutting their dividends. So I'm going to be rebuying some good things. The reason why I'm glad I kind of did this 
was, you know, I sold AT&T, I rebought it. I'm gonna, um, I sold Seagate because I couldn't keep up with it. I'm getting uh, a sign-on bonus money and I just cashed out 40 hours of PTO, which is going right into this one. I'm, I'm just slamming that money. I'm capitalizing on the issue with AT&T. I'm going after the communication sector. I want this to be very strong. I want to at, le at least get $10,000 in it and then uh, decrease the percentage. But I want, if I can get to $10,000 with all of these stocks in here, there's going to be some serious dividends uh, flowing. So, you know, Verizon, at and I'm pretty sure they distribute their dividend right around at that time. BCE and TELUS are... Um, I'm pretty sure their schedules are at a certain point. And Lumen Technologies, these are all quarterly dividends. So I wanna make sure that I have, each month, I'm earning dividends from each of my um, stocks. So eventually I may add one more communications sector stock, but these things are just rolling right now. These things are getting strong. The dividends are increasing. Compound interest is starting to kick in. Uh, let's see. Well, I know it sold it, but it didn't say how many dividends I earned. But I'm, I've earned $671.37, okay? Things are very strong with this portfolio. Um, things are looking really strong with the other sectors that I'm putting money in. I'm almost at 1,000 for Pfizer. Altria, uh, once I get to 1,000 or maybe 2,000, that's when things are going to get serious. BNG Foods, the future's bright with them with their dividend history, very strong dividend. Coca-Cola, that's one that I probably um, need to increase a little bit. Exxon, definitely need to get that up. Westrock, I have to think about this one since I'm adding other stocks. I'm getting more, um, making more decisions. So uh, they are a very good company. They did cut their dividend, but it's slowly increasing because of the pandemic. Enbridge, very good stock. BIP, uh, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, I'm excited for that one. TYLD, once I get to 1,000, I mean, things are going to start going crazy with my dividend portfolio. Same with XYLD, I mean, once I get to 1,000, I think my long-term goal is to at least get 10,000 with both of these. And um, that's when things start really getting serious with these dividend uh, stocks because these monthly dividends will start buying quarterly dividends, quarterly dividends will start buying my uh, monthly dividends, and then it's just gonna start going crazy. So I have to be careful. I don't wanna buy some a lot of stocks. So once I get to about 30,000, that's when I'm gonna start adding more stocks. Uh, maybe I'll like sell one if I don't like it, or you know things are blowing up too fast, or I'm just not getting enough in dividends, or I'm not satisfied. Westrock right now, I'm looking at them, but I'm gonna keep them in my dividend portfolio. But I like what I see, and um, things are looking pretty strong right now. So let me know what you think of those changes I made. And again, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one.